We got Astrograph, we got Fairy Tale Snow, and it is time to show the world what they've been missing with the Astrograph. It's finally back, baby. I'm so excited to show you guys the video. And you guys are going to witness the true power of this deck. Before we get into this video, though, I want you guys to make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, if you guys want to get better at this game, and if you guys love the combos, I'm going to show you guys right now with Pendulum Magicians. Make sure to go sign up on the Patreon, where we're posting daily videos to get better at Master Duel. As well as TCG, just inevitably, just by watching the Master Duel. Here, we're going to be dueling off against my boy, Jojo ASMR, who also has a YouTube channel of his own. He forex his channel, man. His channel is so massive. We're like, we're like ants to Jojo. Jojo has like a billion, kajillion subscribers. So you guys go make sure to go give a sub to him as well. If you guys love some, AS, some ASMR, Servant of Endemian's feet content. Anyways, let's get started. Far Sorry, guys. Sorry if I took over my body for a little bit. So here, you're going to look at our hand, and you're going to notice we play Fairy Tale Snow. Fairy Tale Snow is actually a new vital part of this combo, because with Fairy Tale Snow, we're going to be able to dodge our opponent's attempt to stop our artifact site. We're facing off against Prank Kids with Brave Tokens. Now, this is one of the new top decks, Prank Kid Brave Token together, because the uh, the Brave Token engine stops everything and prank that Prank Kids cannot. So together, it's actually very powerful. So our first play over here, obviously, is going to be Joker. Okay, he opts not to imperm, which he should never imperm the Joker. Joker is like, if my opponent imperms Joker, I'm like, <laughs> sure, dude. You know, it's like the easiest bait of life. So at this point, I highly advise, guys, I highly advise, do not play around Nibiru game one, okay? In this format, there's going to be so much people uh, playing uh, skill drain decks and stuff like that. Don't play Nibiru game one this format. At least wait for the format to be solved first, and then when, when it is, you can play Nibiru. There's no reason to play around it in this scenario. So this play is going to really blow your guys' mind. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go Time Star Magician. Now, I really want to go Astrograph Sorcerer because if I get Astrograph Sorcerer here with, with Time Star, this is a typical play. You guys could take anything from this video. Everyone on YouTube, watch very, 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 very closely. The biggest play that we do here is Time Star Magician, uh, search for Astrograph, and then we're going to use go Tornado Dragon to pop a card, one of our own cards to special out the Astrograph. But and then send Fairy Tail Snow with Time Star. But we already have Fairy Tail Snow, so it's not that required. So what we're gonna do here instead, we're gonna do a little bit of a different play. We're gonna do a little bit of a different play. We're going to search Joker for a follow up. We're gonna Oak Dragon add double iris. We're gonna go Tornado Dragon, Tornado Dragon pop. But then this is the play. You guys see that Tornado Dragon pop our scale, Time Star protect, send Tuning Magician. Sending Tuning Magician now ensures that well, we're not gonna use Oak Dragon yet. We're gonna do that a little later. We're just testing at the moment. We're not even gonna go Needle Fiber. We're gonna save our Needle Fiber for next turn. We're gonna go into Artifact Dagda. Then we're gonna trigger the Oath to add the Double Iris, setting the Artifact Scythe. He's gonna opt to Imperm the Dagda, and we are playing for fun here. So we're like, Yo, you know, you probably shouldn't do that because I could just trigger it on your turn again. So he's gonna save his Imperm on my Scythe slash Tornado Dragon. So now at this point in his draw phase, in his draw phase, we set up Fairy Tail Snow, we set up Pen Graph and Time Star. The idea of this without DPE, without DPE, is you wanna always go Time Star turn one every single time. Time Star is officially our new Electromite. Time Star will search a card in your hand like Astrograph or Tuning Magician or follow up and then it'll send snow or tuning magician so now what we're going to do in this scenario we're going to go tornado dragon right away he's going to imprint the tornado dragon and what we're going to do is because time stars on the field we play around now because of time star not only do we get value in our hand and graveyard but what we're going to do here is we're going to actually dodge the imprint so for all new players this is very important you guys look at this okay so what we're going to do here we're actually going to dodge the imprint so he's going to imprint our tornado dragon so what we're going to do is we're going to go pen graph pen graph effect uh to pop our scale and tornado and uh, his imperm, time start to protect our scale. The second effect of Pengraph would then trigger to send one card in the field. We're gonna send Tornado Dragon to the graveyard. Then, because we send Tornado Dragon to the graveyard, it, it's no longer on the field. So imperm cannot negate Tornado Dragon because it's no longer on the field. That means Tornado Dragon was, would resolve, summoning out Artifact Scythe. And then, even if my opponent has another card like a Chalice or another imperm to stop the Scythe, then we use our Fairy Tail Snow in the graveyard. Banishing the five in the graveyard, the scythe and the dagda, to make sure scythe is off the field. That's why snow is played. That's why snow is played. So now, if they want to imperm a chalice or whatever, we actually banish our own scythe with snow once it hits the field and uses its effect to ensure that the opponent cannot resolve their imperm or scythe. Five head, baby. He does not have another imperm or scythe, and this proceeds now to game two. Snow and time star and astrograph. Like, it all just gives so much reason to play Astro and Snow. It, it makes Time Star so absolutely insane that we're actually actu actually able to use them. So here, I'm going to let my opponent go off. And this is our hand. So the Dark Ruler is not the best against Prank Kid, unless they start off with Verte and Anaconda. 
because right Anaconda would uh, it'll dodge Twin Twister, which some people might play, but they don't really like. Definitely in this scenario, what JoJo does is great, but Dark Ruler will not be able to help us here. It could stop the negate, which that does help. And I'm faced with a decision on my turn. You're gonna witness if you guys got this far so far, and if you guys love the combos, guys, we're almost at sixty thousand subs. You guys need to smash the sub button uh, to witness the greatness that's about to ensue. So here he does this. Uh, we go Dark Ruler right away. The reason I Dark Ruler right away is if I go Joker first and he negates with Griffin, I lose. I lose because if I scale Oaf and scale Iris and Pen Summon, he just summons this out and I lose. So Dark Ruler is gonna be used to negate this. I I, I didn't really know how he was going to do his combo whether he was going to go pandemonium or verte so i just put dark ruler just in case we go joker here to add wisdom eye now at this point we're going to scale scale and i realized i go dragon pit i'm like man there's just no way i could win this so if i dragon pay he summons i need an extra purple poison i gotta figure if i went oaf dragon wisdom into into purple point there's just no way to do this sadly there's no way to do this and he's gonna get the game there so we're gonna go to game number three now so game number three now absolute master class we're going to face Imperm and Gamma. This is like this is the best hand that this deck could possibly open. So and our hand is super doo-doo. Look at this. We draw both Slight and Pengraph and Tuning Magician. You do not want to open these cards. So we bricked so badly, but we're still going to find a way to do this because our deck is just that insane. So we're going to Normal Summon and trigger the Artifact Dag Day here. Sorry, the Needle Fiber. We're going to set up an Appaloosa before our Pen Summon. And then we're going to Oaf Dragon. So we set up an Appaloosa. My idea is... Appaloosa is going to ensure Harmo resolves. And then if we can set up a Tornado Dragon with Appaloosa and Pengraph for two, our sites will guaranteed resolve. So at this point, I add Harmonizing to my hand. Harmonizing effect. He goes Gamma. I Appaloosa negate it. And then he Imperms. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Get absolutely wrecked. But it's okay because we are facing off against Prank Kid. And Prank Kid loses to one stop of the normal summon. So we're just going to Pengraph the normal summon and we, we win the duel. So he summons. I Prank Kid. I hit it and then he hits us with the biggest one for one of life oh my god we get absolutely destroyed but pay close attention because the duel is not over yet okay you guys are about to witness this is the most incredible thing that you've ever witnessed in pendulum magician history okay aside from looping astrograph a billion times so he's playing perfectly here okay everyone look play very close attention just guys could see the actual resilience of this deck and how insane it is for pendulums actually lose look at this look at this look at this everyone pay very close attention he's gonna go off here he's gonna summon a lot of times he's gonna get a lot of plus and he goes doodle so if he goes butler okay take this in if he goes butler i just pangraph pop right away and he absolutely loses this is the absolute best play that he could possibly do because if he goes butler then i just pangraph on my draw phase and even if he uses his card to protect i'll be able to send with pangraph and i oaf add harmo first and he's gonna lose the duel so he absolutely amazing play of him to do this now i want you guys to see our top deck okay what card saves us here in draw phase he's going to use Ro roaster to pop all of these and then we have absolutely no play so what card in Yu-Gi-Oh history would actually save us and allow us to win this duel what card well the card that you should all be playing in your pendulum magician decks fairy tail fucking snow he uses this to pop all of our cards i'm like oh sag look at this so bad right it's so bad for us well fairy tail snow summit attack artemis magician boom Thanks to Artemis, we put Fairy Tail Snow in the graveyard, and, every, and whenever he summons a prank kid, we Fairy Tail Snow book it. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Fairy Tail Snow single handedly saved us this entire match, bro. Saved us. Normal summon. We're gonna. We're, we're not gonna do this. I, I forgot you what he has. We're gonna go into Tornado, Tornado Dragon. We're gonna pop his unknown set. We're gonna crash this and go into Zeus. And now he's gonna. We're gonna. He's gonna have to deal with the Zeus against prank kid. So anything he summons, we're just gonna use Zeus effect, Joker effect to add. And on top of that, we have Fairy Tail. Now we have Fairy Tail Snow and Zeus effects. Fairy Tail Snow willed us to victory, bro. This deck is absolutely insane. And I highly advise all you guys play this exact card for card list. And I'll be showing you guys the list right now. Shout out JoJo for that amazing match. Now I'll show you guys the list. This is the deck list for those that have missed it. Absolutely absurd. Super amazing deck. Everything you guys need. I highly advise play Triple Stark, Triple uh, Celestial. They truly are incredible to be playing. And I highly advise the Snow, bro. The, the, it's just Time Star Magician. Time Star Magician in this deck turns is just it literally becomes electromite time star magician in this deck becomes electromite so we are able to search either astrograph or tuning magician and we could send snow or tuning magician the things you could do with this deck with time star is insane i'm really debating adding one extra magician souls to make the plays even further with time star because i'm starting to think that time star with fairy tale snow and so many ways to pop your cards to, to trigger effects of Astro Graph, trigger effects of Time Star is truly broken. So, if you guys got this far, make sure to smash the sub button, boys, because we're on a mission to 60k. If you guys want to learn more tricks like this, make sure to go check out the Patreon down below. Check out the beautiful playmats at TripGaming.com. I love you guys. Pen best deck.
and I'll see you guys for the video later today. I'll be posting two videos today, and the video today is going to truly blow your guys' mind on another secret way to play pendulums, secret pendulum sauce. It's going to be truly amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next video. Peace.